Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel, man. Silent Mike. Today we're gonna to talk about the three exercises that I love to blow up my arms. Now my arms ain't that big, but I have made a ton of progress over the couple last couple of years, really focusing on them when I'm not powerlifting as much. Be sure to like this thing, subscribe, come along. We're gonna blow up our arms and I might even throw in a bonus, my favorite delt exercise. Let's get jacked in 2024, appreciate y'all. My go-to with biceps right now is kind of the length and position, it's like an incline. So you could do it on an incline on a bench and a dumbbell and that all feels great. But with a cable in particular, shout out to Bells of Steel. This setup, this kind of functional trainer is the best because you can really get a stretch and you'll get tension through the entire movement. Where a dumbbell, even on an incline, sometimes you just feel that you can't squeeze as hard. Obviously a cable with a pulley system is pulling back on you the whole time. The workout itself, I'll do this twice a week. Super easy, man. I'll go nice and light right now in my like 30s and I'll crowd an insane old pump. So I'll do sets of 15 to 20, and then I'll get two or three sets towards failure, eight plus reps, I'll jack up the weight. But let's get uh, forward a little bit. Let it pull you behind you. The biggest thing is to have your elbows end up behind you. And so you're gonna get a stretch, not only where your bicep inserts towards your shoulder, but also where your bicep inserts towards your elbow. You don't want to necessarily pull these things all forward, although it is a function of the bicep to help in that. I like to really isolate the biceps with this movement and really keep those elbows behind me as a squeeze. You get a little lean forward as the weights get heavier, sometimes I'll go staggered stance. But really, I'm just focused on getting a ton of blood into my biceps so that I can feel the contractions a little bit better when I go with those heavy working sets. Now we just want to do an exercise kind of in a shortened position. So we'll just want our elbows in front of our body. Um, you can drag up a preacher curl, which feels great. A uh, preacher with a dumbbell is doable, but uh, again, you're just losing tension through some of the range. Having the cable in front of you on a preacher, so sometimes I drag that guy over, and we'll put it in front. Um, but also, if you're just focused, you can step back and just make sure your elbow's in front of your body. And if you have a mirror, you can see it or just feel it. I'll do a curl like that. So just a regular standing curl. Weight's a little bit lighter. Sometimes I'll jack up the height just a hair. Make sure that thing's in front of me and I'll go single hand again. You know, you can train on your body, but I try to square up again to make sure I'm in that shortened position, elbow in front of me. So you're gonna use like an imaginary preacher. Flex your tricep at the bottom, squeeze all the way up. Really focusing on kind of pinching something here. Imagine there's a walnut in there and you want to crack at it. Same thing. Typically I'll do a set of 15 to 20, get a shit ton of blood in there and kind of gauge what weight I'm at. And then I'll do two to three sets, reserving maybe one or two reps, as heavy as I can, around eight reps. And the old bodybuilding adage that if you want big arms, you gotta have big triceps is true. And my favorite movement, again, is in the lengthened position. So I like a behind the head tricep extension. Singular rope tends to be my favorite. Um, some people call it a French press, that's my favorite coffee, but you can call it whatever you want. And I'll bang this out similar ways, man, two to three times a week. Get a set of 10 to 15, get a nice blood in there, lube up the elbows, um, and then full range. You're trying to get your bicep part and your elbow as vertical as possible. And we're just moving at the elbow itself. Getting as close to failure as you can. Trying to push that weight every single time. If you're training them, all these exercises two to three times a week, I'll tend to do one day that's more in the 10 rep range and then push one a little heavier, sets of six to eight. You build muscle at all rep ranges, but to allow yourself not to be stagnant and allow yourself to progress both in volume and just general progressive overload, overload so I can train more weight. You wanna hit those different rep ranges, build a little bit of strength. The bonus, if you made it this far on the video, thank you, we love you. What do the kids do? Kids be throwing up gang signs on TikTok. Uh, lateral raise on the cable. Same idea as we're getting that tension throughout, which is something you lack with the dumbbells um, and the free weights. And then two is I love these functional trainers in particular because I'll lean on these guys. I'll try to get a hip and a shoulder, not for any angles or anything special, but what it forces me to do is not shimmy at all when I'm moving these weights. And it'll put all that pressure on my, on my front and mostly medial delt. So, you use a little bit less weight, we'll be in the 30s. This thing shifts, which is beautiful. Then I'll get my shoulder on a part that's obviously not the cable. I'll grab this thing, and I'll lean into it a little bit. I'll just pull this guy right to my side. Nice slow and control, getting that tension throughout. And although it is a little bit of bro sciencey, a little bit of old school shit, I'm truly thinking about one of those anatomy charts where that light up the medial delt, that middle part of my delt, and I'm focusing my brains all 30 IQ brain cells on it the entire time. Take it through the full range. Slightly more explosive on the way up, as high as I can go. Nice and slow and controlled. One big cue I use for a lot of my delt stuff is I'm trying to push this thing away from me. 
So I think about taking this handle and a big arc. You ever use like a compass as a kid? I don't know, I'm old. But we use that in school, we used a compass scrolling around. I think about doing a big arc, because you don't want to bring it up in here. You don't want to move it in different. I think about being a full circle as long as I can. I'm kind of that middle fulcrum. Taking again away all leverages and cheating, swing, stability, but pushing myself, my shoulders and my hips into this machine. Shout out Bells of Steel. Beautiful equipment, super smooth cable, feels great. Um, if you guys want to get more involved, man, check out the vlog channel. Mike Farr should be linked in the bio. Dropping a video a week on the vlog channel. And go get big arms. Happy 2024. Silent Mike. Catch you in the next one through SB.co for all your apparel needs.